Okay, so I have a little bit of an issue. <sighs> it's loosened here, so I'm gonna do all the stuff underneath and I'm going to see if I can find someone to help me get it back attached. Yeah, that's bowing quite a bit. Okay. However, now I've started going through all of this and it's so much, it's so much, but every time I open something I'm like, oh yeah, I love that. So, like, sketchbook, designated for Viking stuff, love this, used like three pages in this, don't love it, but you know, you can just throw away a sketchbook. These folders have different projects in them, can throw that away. Books, love my books. Just, I'm just going to keep everything. <laughs> okay, so I have a little bit of a gathering, a haul. Stuff I bought from Panduro, which I thought I would go to share because I don't really have a lot of stuff to share these days. So uh, I have bought some new acrylic paint. Well, most of these are refills actually. Stuff I have used up. So we have cobalt blue. Uh, well, it's ultramarine, but I like this one better than the ultramarine. A raw umber. <laughs> um, I use raw umber so much. I'm realizing when I'm actually like painting and see what colors I'm using. Uh, also, the sap green. I don't think it looks like a sap green because I think this one is a lot darker than traditional sap green. On the other hand, I'm used to watercolor sap green. Uh, I think this one is much more like, you know, the perylene green. Anyway, I love this color. Use it so much. So those are all oh, and this one too. Yellow, um, yellowish green. Use this one so much too. So these are all just uh, restock, rebought. I did, however, get two new colors. I'm pretty excited about it. It's a Venetian Rose and Ultramarine Violet. I do have one violet color or purple color in this Amsterdam series, but it's really, really dark. So I wanted something a little bit lighter. And this one just, I don't really have any pink. So, yeah. Um, so I mostly got this order for this. And also, I have been getting more and more into clay. So I actually decided to splurge and get this set. Uh, a few weeks ago, I got like a really cheap set with, um, that just had like, you know, those, um, the tools and then they have like, um, uh, the, the wire goes like this. So you can like uh, carve out stuff. So I decided to get this. Uh, oh yeah, these tools. But there were a few stuff that I felt like I really wanted um, tools that I'm like missing. Uh, so I got this to a really good price. So I decided to get it. Uh, so yeah, it comes with a lot of different stuff. I'm not sure if I will use all of it, but I feel like it's kind of nice to, because I got it for such a good deal. Um, I now have all the stuff that I need when I'm working from home. Um, so, because I'm burning my clay stuff at a ceramicist, but I'm sitting at home doing it. So, I just felt like it's nice uh, to sort of experiment and not. I do borrow her tools too, but I feel like I don't want to borrow, and like, if she's missing it, and you know. So, we have a lot of different. Um, I don't think I will actually use this thing because I think this will become so dirty. But we have a lot of different little stuff um, that looks good, I suppose. I'm not really sure which ones I will use, obviously. But uh, I'm excited to have, uh, in theory, all the tools that I need. Um, 
now when I've been making, I've been making mostly palettes to sell uh, and a few like a little bit more like fun things. Uh, but I have been feeling like I'm missing stuff, but I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm actually missing because I'm not sure what kind of tools you usually have. So I'm really excited to have all of these stuff uh, to sort of experiment with. Um, um, this looks like a butter knife. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of, a lot of different, that's just a long pokey thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, but they look like good quality, so yeah. And I haven't been filming a lot when I have been doing my clay stuff, um, partly because it's really dirty and partly because I'm really insecure. So, <laughs> but uh, maybe I do some video trying out these uh, stuff. Then I just got a few little pen stuff again. Um, these are pretty much all just re rebuy, rebought of the one millimeter and then the three one. Um, and then beige, I got one beige and one ivory in the three. Um, so those are just. Uh, um, repurchases really uh, and then just uh, some more of the neo color twos i don't know what this one this one is special apparently uh, and now i'm like oh how many of these do i already have because i didn't actually look at my little swatch before i got them should we bet salmon rose i feel like i have this one uh... Okay, let's. Because you know what I did the other day when uh, my shelf broke down? I organized my swatch art. All my swatches is in one. So let's see. Do really amazing planning. I have them on three sheets. So, <laughs> purple 90. And I mean, I would not say this is purple. I would call that like fuchsia. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, then we have <gasps> periwinkle blue. No, we're going to do aubergine. <laughs> This is one of those colors I've been really missing for my collection, like that dark, dark purple. Now, you all know I'm a big fan of purple, so. Oh, it's more red than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So we have that. And then I'm guessing up here we should be able to find this that is Desert Rose. Uh, maybe? No? It says 42 there. Could that be an indication? Yeah. Number 42. That says flesh. Could that be like it has a new num like a new... I mean, it looks like it would go there. Let's see. Okay. Scarlet Violet. I don't see any Desert Rose. So I'm guessing Desert Rose is a new name for Flesh. I think I've said this before, but as someone who's learned English as a second language, some of the things just doesn't really make sense. So flesh for me is like, you know, the flesh on the inside, like meat, like 
flesh, like you cut up meat, that is flesh, you know. And I think for English speaking, flesh is more like the skin. So that's I'm having a hard time getting those two words connecting in my brain. Um, okay, I have two more colours and I have periwinkle blue. Oh yeah. That's pretty colour. Oh, that's purple. Like this, this is, that's a purple colour. I don't care what you call that blue, that's a purple colour. <laughs> okay, then I got this, um, I think this is 710 and I think that's a new one. No? No, yeah, that one. Phalo, uh, phalo cyanide green. All right. I just keep getting so amazed by how good they are uh, watered down. Okay, so I bought six colours and I have five new ones. That's good. I'm just going to make sure I use my uh, pink <laughs> uh, Now, let's see. I'm just trying to see like the big difference be between these. Uh, so that one is obviously more green or more blue of green. Uh, and this one is deeper. So yeah. But I do think this one will be nice to mix with yellow to get like fun greens. And obviously to, to mix with red and with purples. <laughs> It's been a while since I've done this kind of face to camera thing. And um, yeah, I'm not too too happy about it. I'm, I'm fine with this because I just look at my, my camera, I don't look at the screen, but then I will have to edit it and that's what I find it hard because my face looks a bit different. Well, I think so anyway. It looks puffier because as you all know, my medical mystery journey continues and I have now been on uh, cortisone steroids for uh, two months. Uh, and as of now, I have halved, halved, I've gone down half of my dose and I can tell. <laughs> And it's really hard act. Partly because I've never done this before. Partly I think uh, I wasn't really told <laughs> what to expect either. Uh, and I do realize that uh, with these kind of stronger meds, uh, they affect different people very differently. I get that. Um, but yeah. So for me, I would say the biggest things that has affected me, apart from uh, doing the whole puffing out, is I haven't really been sleeping, which is a very common side effect of uh, cortisone steroids. And um, I have been prescribed, it's not sleeping pills, uh, but some form of pills to get me make it easier to fall asleep and they have not helped um, it's not that I have a hard time falling asleep it's more the fact that I don't stay asleep so I took a few weeks or a few weeks where I took these meds and I just like I kept waking up all the time and the last few days I have not taken them and I have actually uh, had a little bit better sleep but um, yeah uh, 
like you know so like the foundation symptoms of just being like in pain um, and the fever now the fever has gone down uh, but it's keep going I have like a week where it's going below fever and then it comes back up again so I'm not really sure I think it's a good sign that I do have a few days without fever however so I'm thinking that's a good sign uh, but that with the fact that I'm not sleeping now also I'm um, very shaky and uh, editing the last few videos like it's different when you when I just see stuff like from my own eyes when I'm looking down drawing and that kind of stuff and I get irritated and that kind of stuff uh, but, but, but actually seeing <laughs> on the screen I'm like oh crap and I don't feel like I have had any improvements in my shakiness uh, more so that they are getting worse and I think that could be a combination of like not sleeping well like the body itself is tired but that's that's been a thing where uh, doing stuff is hard like actually um, like painting it's actually like physically hard to do <laughs> to do what you actually want to do like high and hand coordination but then you need to sort of offset the shakiness of your own hand uh, that's a bit of a tricky stuff also knitting um, which I've really enjoyed uh, I do really enjoy but it's a bit uh, more of a high stakes game now when you because usually I'm working with pretty small needles and they keep like pointing all the stuff um, also um, um, so I've been doing a little bit more like crochet which is working okay but um, I'm trying to like sew stuff together now and the needle is like mm. so, so that's been really <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make light of it because otherwise uh, it's really hard to deal with so um, and also you know the like the standard as soon as I actually do something um, I start sweating a lot and when I'm just here it's like okay it's fine it's annoying um, and like mentally it's hard but when I'm out in public it's it's really hard and I feel really self-confident like self like I have a really hard time with it so it's just like it's I think on the whole February has been like mentally more hard um, yeah <laughs> So, um, I have been doing less, really, um, but I, I realise that's just a thing. Also, I have been trying to make more paint, so because I have less energy, I have um, made less paint every time I've made paint. So instead of making like, a full batch, I'm making a uh, half a batch or even a third of a batch. Um, but it's still like, like, the actual making of the paint goes fine. <laughs> Getting paint into the pans, it's messy. It's really messy. Um, so yeah, but I have an appointment with my doctor in about a week. So I'm hoping that uh, he will say something that will fix everything. You know, keeping my expectations nice and low. So that's sort of the, um, I don't know, what, what's been going on? Uh, not much, really. I've been just trying to focus on keeping the shop going and uh, doing as much as I can when I have the energy. At the same time, I've uh, been told over and over again to rest. And I'm like, yeah, but when I have the energy, like, but, but then also it's like when I don't have energy it's not an option to rest because then I'm actually not resting because I'm so worn out so I need to rest before I get tired and that's the that's the hard part and that's the that's the update of, of now I suppose um, but I have um, sort of continued with my trying to focus on exploration and art uh, it's just been less but I'm still like trying to have that mindset of um, 
of exploring new things uh, and taking my time and sort of um, look around and see what I am kind of thing and I'm really excited about making like another sort of monthly recap. Uh, also I got a text from my friend who is the ceramicist and my first batch of uh, paint palettes are being having their first burn right now so I'm really excited about that uh, and we have talked about uh, doing some fun things that I'm really excited about uh, having my own paint palettes in the shop that I've made and I have a new lump of clay <laughs> so uh, right now it's just sitting waiting and I keep like eyeing it as I walk past it um, but I just want to feel a little bit more uh, steady with my hands before I do it because um, it's easier <laughs> with steady hands when you're actually like doing stuff and with that I just want to thank you so very much for watching this video I hope you have enjoyed it this little update and uh, I hope to be back soon with uh, a recap of my February arty adventures